What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Inverted Gamer, and today is Wednesday. It is super, super early in the morning, and that means we have a new update in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, first things first, first impressions at this banner. It looks absolutely insane. You got this, this evil-looking cowboy dude looking like he's straight out of an Avatar movie. And the one thing that I noticed, too, is that old pumpkin head is holding something that we have never seen before in fortnite battle royale now i don't know if that's for save the world or what but let's let's delve delve let's dive right into these patch notes version 6.20 trick or treat come on and all are you ready for some scares and join us this season during fort nightmares that's a that's a clever little rhyme <laughs> New weapons and heroes. Okay, let's save the world. Okay. Fort Nightmares. Explore all the tasty treats, exciting appearances, and new looks. Read the blog to watch the video and get details to both Battle Royale and Save the World. Okay. Let's watch this and see what it's all about. Alright, we got the battle bus. Yo, Kevin looks angry. Okay, that looks like the cowboy but not corrupted. Wait. Did Kevin just explode? It's the battle bus on top of the hill. Whoa. Wait a minute. Now he's just all evil? Wait. A Wait. Yo, the pumpkin launcher! Let's go! Is this save the world? Wait, is this save the world? I have no idea what just happened. Okay, okay. And they are bringing a new weapon, the six shooter. Do you feel lucky, partner? Show off your gunslinger skills with the new six shooter. That is Battle Royale. What the hell? 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 I'm ready for these servers to go live so that way we can dive right into it and see exactly what the hell is going on. Okay, now this is going to be a, a point of controversy. Some of you are probably going to like it. Some of you probably won't. I myself am one of those people that probably won't. The Glider Redeploy, currently available in all modes. Meaning that if you guys ever played Soaring 50s, if you guys got above a three-story height limit and you jumped, you could just redeploy your glider and fly to sweet, sweet safety. Now, that can be good if you're on the bad end of a fight, but it's also going to be irritating if you're on the good end of a fight and the people that you're fighting keep running away. It's only going to be in for a week. That's going to be interesting to see, though, with competitive and TwitchCon and this fall skirmish this week. Really surprised that they did that. Oh, that's going to be really interesting, competitive. Very, very interesting. New playground items. Man your stations. A new <laughs> a new pirate ship minigame and other fun additions. Other fun additions, okay, are now available in playground. As well as changes to the spiky stadium. I mean, look at that. So I assume you're going to have like a little consumable, throwable grenade type item. And you're going to be able to throw it. And you're just going <laughs> to... You're going to be able to duel it, yo, walk the plank, all that kind of stuff, bro. That's cool. All right, save the world. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Battle Royale. Limited time event. Fort Nightmare. Summary. The cube strikes back. So this whole thing that we've been waiting over a season and a half for, oh, Kevin, that everybody thought was going to do all this stuff, change all these things in the map was all apparently... For an LTM. Maybe not all for an LTM, but it definitely seems to be the focal point. The cube strides back, bringing Fortnite Mares to Battle Royale. Drop in and discover what the cube has unleashed. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. What's new? Cube fragments spawn cube monsters. Drop in and discover the different types. Okay. <laughs> Large cube fragments are found near corrupted areas of the island. Small cube fragments are created randomly throughout the match. 
so they're only going to be found randomly and then in given points given the corrupted areas. Okay, cube fiends, brutes, and fragments all have a chance to drop loot. Okay, that's cool. Loki kind of copping what Blackout did with zombies when it drops loot. Uh, defeating a cube fiend or brute will grant a small amount of shield. Okay, so it gives you advantage for doing that. A fiend hunter crossbow. Okay, that's, I guarantee you, that right there. That's that right there. The fiend hunter crossbow has been added. That's cool. I'm kind of glad the crossbow got a way to come back. That's cool that they added that back in for the LTM. It's only in that LTM. Available in epic variant. 40 base damage, 1.8 shots per second. Pretty quick. Four times damage against fiends. So it's got a specific purpose. Seven arrow magazine, unlimited ammo. That's the greatest part about it. Can be found from floor loot chests and vending machines. Cool. Playground. This is going to be very interesting. New port of grenades are now available in vending machines at the southern edge of Loot Lake. So now you don't have to go around sitting and waiting, or not waiting, but searching, doing all that bullish trying to find different things now you can just go to a specific part in the map you know it's going to be there great a that's a great a change right there the porta challenge set includes the building challenge obstacle challenge and firing range mini games <laughs> yo i'm kind of glad that they're adding all these things to playground because if you guys have probably know especially if you're on youtube it has gained its whole separate following and whole separate entity it is like a whole entire different game what they do on playgrounds Love it. It's cool. It's a different side of the game, and I think one that definitely needs to have light shined on. Four of each type with varying difficulty. Cool. Spiky Stadium makes a return. Brand new respawn system and vending machines spread all necessary grenades. Finally, there's a port of sh port <laughs> almost been port of ship, bro. What are you talking about? Port of pirate ship minigame. This grenade spawns a recreation of the minigame shown off by seven. Port of grenade, port, port of grenade, port of challenge, obstacle course, collect the tokens and avoid the obstacles while honing your building skills, building challenge, build the structure as fast as you can. That's going to be good for those of you guys that want to go in there and just, you know, want to have different things to challenge your building, not just building a one by one, things that you can like work on cerebrally, cere cerebrally, cerebrally, yeah. Yeah, that's the word that we're trying to say, if that's even a word. Build the structure as fast as possible, firing range. Take out as many dummies as you can within the time limit for all those sharpshooters out there. Spiky Stadium V2. Once inside the new Spiky Stadium, players will respawn at designated spawn points inside the play space. Vending machines provide grenades and traps to allow you to customize your play. That's cool. So now it's not just a set thing. You can do it all however you want. Port of Pirate Ship. A recreation. I've never actually seen that on YouTube, so I'm surprised, but that actually sounds really dope. Spawns two large pirate, wooden pirate ships. Duh. The minigame will split players into two teams with the goal of destroying the other team's ship. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Port of Pirate Ship Ironclad Edition. Spawns two large metal pirate ships. Grenades and rockets are provided for maximum destruction that just seems like a spam fest but it could be fun uh new vending machines have been added across the map to provide more traps and weapons so i guess that's their own specific spawns and playground a new respawn button has been added to the in-game player menu that's actually really cool weapons and items okay here we go six shooter added available in uncommon rare so green blue and purple and epic variants 34 36 and 38 base damage obviously the clip's gonna have eight or eight oh god i'm an idiot i meant to say six it's a six shooter shoot from the hip for faster fire rate or trade fire rate for precision by aiming down side i wonder what the headshot multiplier on it is though that's gonna be the big thing because like with the deagle it doesn't really at range, it's, it's doo-doo. But up close, it is so good. Six Shooter uses medium ammo. Okay. okay. I wonder what the reload time on it, too, is. That's going to be another interesting thing to find out. Can be found from floor loot chests and vending machines. The Rocket Launcher is now the Pumpkin Rocket Launcher. This is a visual-only change, but one that I absolutely love. This is on, honestly about the time that I started playing Fortnite for the very first time. was this time last year when the Pumpkin Rocket Launcher was in the game. Hand cannon balance changes increase damage to structures from 79 to 150. Oh, that's a big change. And 83 to 157. Increased minimum long range body shot. Oh my god. Thank you, Epic. Thank you. I always pick up the Deagle. I will, if, if I have a bolt and one of my friends has a Deagle, I will trade them the Deagle. A, because 
I know that they like the bolt more. And B, I just like having the Deagle. That that 100% accuracy, it's very good for close range. One by one battles, very good. 30 to, one, to 30 to 50 and 31 to 52. Increase minimum long range headshot damage from 60 to 100 and 62 to 104. Now it's it's 1,000 percent worth picking up. I'm super super happy about that. Stink bomb increased chance to find on the floor and by chest. Okay, cool. Okay, gameplay. Glider redeploy functionality that's available in this. Okay, we already talked about that. Um, Ten meters up, aka three stories high. Weapons now reload upon respawn in modes that keep the player's inventory interesting, like the like disco domination. Storm changes. Wait time for phase three has been reduced, and wait time for phase five has been reduced. Okay, so it's going to move super quick. Late, dude, competitive this week for the fall skirmish is going to be super, super entertaining to watch. Maybe like watching a train wreck. It might just be a train wreck, and we're going to love every single second of it. The players are going to hate it, but we're going to love it. Uh, well, now late game moving circles will now immediately begin traveling to a new location after it reaches its current destination. And they move far. Wow. Okay, but the maximum damage has reduced from 10 to 8. So now those players, we're talking about competitive here, or maybe if you're in a late game heal off, if you have a med kit, now it's a much easier to just cycle and cycle and cycle. Wow. That's actually, especially in competitive, or if you're in a late game situation, that's going to give you time to burrow down a little bit more too. Very interesting. Players will now take two damage per second while on the down, but not out stage, instead of two damage every two seconds. So it doesn't really matter because we all know what Fortnite Season 6 and Season 5 was all about. It's all about that, that insta thirst. So it don't even matter. But it might change a little bit. Maximum time in the MB down but not out state reduced from 100 to 50 seconds if no friendly player attempts to revive you. Okay, so it's cut in half. That's basically what all that means. Quick mass, bro. Removing ability to rocket ride quad launcher rockets. <laughs> Never even saw that done, but I mean, they did the same thing with grenade launchers. It's just kind of pointless. All right, audio. Added unique sounds on cycling through traps. Actually, that's a great, great change. If you're trying to trying to flip through to a spike trap, a damage trap, and you're trying to trap somebody, great A. Remove the in-air audio cue for gliders belong to friendly teammates. Loki, I feel like they removed that from out and from from enemy. I almost said enemy teammates from enemy gliders as well, because sometimes people fly on on you and land on your head, and you never heard a sound. Reduce the volume of the dark Viking glider. Thank you. That that dragon was nuts, bro. Your name now appears always appears at the top of your squad list in game. Okay, could care less. When a challenge bundle is delayed, it is now displayed as coming soon rather than unlocking in zero seconds. Chain quests in the challenge bundle now show the current quest number in the chain over the total number of quests in the chain. Okay, cool, cool, cool. New variants added to the Musha and Haim outfits that are part of the Bushido set. Why are you doing this after people have bought them or when people don't have the chance to buy them? I mean, you know they're going to come back. Interesting. So that may make that on if you the, for those of you guys that don't know, it's early in the morning. Excuse me, I can't talk. Those are the samurai outfits, and they have like different colors or stuff. That's gonna be really really cool. Pets no longer get stuck floating in the air after their owner drives a vehicle off a jump. Fix quad crash or jump trick animation displays. Changes in other players' aim and view directions are now smoother, both in game and during replays. Interesting. And then there's some mobile changes. I'll leave that up while I do my outro. And uh, that way you guys can read it. Those, those of you guys that are on mobile, I don't want to say we don't care. Because there are some of you guys that probably do play on mobile. And I don't want to exclude you guys. So, guys, that is the version 6.2 patch notes in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, a lot of interesting changes. More than I thought that would come this week. I thought it was just going to be the Fortnite Mares and the new hand cannon. Well, not hand cannon, but six shooter, excuse me. So, let me know what you guys think of the update down in the comments below. I'm super, super excited to get in there and see what the update has in store. Get my hands on it, get dirty with it. That sounded weird, but forgive me. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. If, if you guys are new, I know I get a lot of you new guys in here on Patch Notes Day. Help a boy out and hit that subscribe button. I will love you forever.
even though I love you already, but I love you forever. And if you guys enjoyed the video, if I helped you guys out in any kind of way, make sure to hit a like on the video. And with that said, you guys already know I'm going to bring you guys way more videos as soon as these servers go live. So peace out, YouTube.